Hi, buddies and curls. We are back with another video, and today's video is March Favorites. Now, today is going to be a little bit different because I am including beauty box unboxings for February. Y'all, I know. I'm late. Not late like that. No, but I'm late in terms of the February unboxing, and let me tell you why. It's a good reason. It's a good reason. Um, I'm including a giveaway in this video for the Ipsy Mystery Glam Bag because I want to do it a little bit different because I want to show you guys what's in the bag, but what I like, what I didn't like, um, and show you that way. So I've been testing out these products all month, all of the end of February because I did get it like mid February and then into March. So now that I'm doing March favorites and I still haven't gotten that out, I'm so sorry, but I did have a schedule that I wanted to stick to. This was, that was a little bit more important in terms of getting through my top five in terms of hair and I will stick the playlist if you want to check it out over here, but I did do my top five in hair care. Now I'm going on to skin and then makeup, but I just wanted to let you guys, guys know that. So since I've been trying these all month, I do have some favorites. So a let's get straight into this video so I actually do a bi-weekly beat on snapchat and if you don't follow me on snapchat you definitely want to because I do unboxings on there I do sneak peeks of things so I'm going to put that also down in the description box so check me out on snapchat as well as Twitter and these are my favorites of the month that I actually pick out and I actually use these and from here I pick my favorites so what we're gonna do right now is start with hair y'all know I love starting off with hair favorites and I've actually put it in this bag right here so most of them are tools so the first thing I want to show you guys are these crocodile clips now this has changed my life com like completely in terms of my hair not being snagged, not putting it on clips or using hair ties when I'm washing my hair. These are amazing. I use these on my niece's hair. I do have a video on detangling and washing hair and styling for kids um, while she was here on spring break and she's three years old. So you probably want to see that if you have kids, but I actually use these in her hair and I love these. These actually remove the hair away from the face and these are really good I got these from Marshall's for $3.99 they retail for $9 but these are called the Lux Beauty Crocodile Clips and they came in four so four dollars they were a dollar each you can also get these from Sally's I absolutely love this if you're having issues with breakage and your hair breaking off because of the hair ties and everything I highly recommend Crocodile Clips absolutely love this I actually got from Planet Beauty and this was like maybe this was totally under ten dollars and is definitely one of my favorites it's called the pick me up by Spillo and this you just attach to any blow dryer and you can comb through your hair I actually this is blow dried hair this is not even flat iron or the insider at all but if you just want to get your hair a little bit um, detangled and straightened a bit for maybe a stretched out twist out or anything this is absolutely amazing and like I said it will fit any attachment you can pick it up from Planet, Planet Beauty I know Sally's has this as well but an attachment to your blow dryer okay so the next thing I have been loving is my spray bottle now it's not only the spray bottle but it's what's in it you definitely want to get a spray bottle that actually you can control the gauge. You can actually do stream or you can do mist. I love misting, but it's actually what's in here. I was running out of my a Cocoa Curls, like a really good non-glycerin conditioner, and I totally ran out of it. You're going to see it in my empties. But I actually took some water, mixed it up, and put it in here. This is great for moisturizing your hair and putting a little bit of moisture in it with the conditioner in addition to water. This is a great refresher, just like a, D a quick DIY. Take your favorite conditioner that w and water it down with some water and use it as a refresher spray. I've been loving this, especially with my curly hair. Of course, not with my straight hair, but I've absolutely been loving this as well. Okay, this must be like tool month because I have been loving this is from Nume or Numi. 
this is their I don't even know what brush it is but of course I'll list it down below but I love using this to sh actually straighten and grip the hair and take the blow dryer just with its regular um, concentration nozzle and straightening my hair and I really love the bristles on here my sister actually gave me this but I really really do enjoy the new May and it actually grips the hair and it detangles at the same time so I absolutely love this I thought I didn't have any hair things but I actually do I y'all saw this in my natural hair haul I am gonna come reviewing the full line but I had to talk about this because I have been using this in the month of March and this is the cream of nature argon oil Morocco with Morocco strength and shine leave-in conditioner I have been loving this for my curly hair blow drying it I use it in my hair you're gonna see it that I use it in my niece's hair I think that I show that on camera but anyway this is what I use it smells so good so good I did use the edge control the perfect edges by cream of nature which I really do like this is how it looks so I am liking the cream of nature line so far so this is affordable this you can pick this up for $5.99 I got this at my local beauty supply store but you can get this at Sally's and this is the cream of nature strength and shine leave-in conditioner I really do love this for my curly hair and my straight hair and I love my diva curl no poo now this is a regular one but this has been saving my detangle life. I use this on my niece's hair. If you have a child with tangled matted hair or if it's tangled and you need to really detangle, I highly recommend using this because it's going to detangle as well as allow you to really massage the scalp. It's going to get all that dirt out. You know, kids love the sand. They love being in the dirt and this is going to get it out. It has like a tea tree tingly feel, which is going to feel good on their scalp and it's going to really, really make it clean, especially if you have kids that have extra extra dry hair this is gonna help because it's not uh, it's no poo it's not gonna foam on you and it's really great for that so just wanted to share that with you I talked about these two on YouTube uh, a get ready with me and we did some chit chat it was a long chit chat but I absolutely love talking to you guys I'm gonna try to schedule those but sometimes it's unprompt impromptu I have been loving these two products now this is a, the Pacifica dream big this is like in the top five of my mascaras. I love this. It is a dupe to the hot and naughty and I am coming with a dupes video again. You know I love those. I will link some over here so you guys can check it out. But this actually allows you to go long to lengthen and short to to um, make your lashes really fat and have some volume. I really do love this. This is in the shade black magic that's the name of it but I absolutely love this and I highly 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 recommend this if you want to lengthen and volumize your lashes rather than getting two different mascaras just opt for one so this is the tart tardiest I hope I'm saying that right tardiest um, mascara I love this this tops my lights camera lashes and y'all know I'm die hard for that I still love that and that's great for lengthening but this one gives me like a faux lash and it makes it looks look like I have like fake lashes on so I really do love this it does have a rubber um, type of applicator but I really do like this it grips my lashes and it fattens them at the same time and the other great thing I love about this is that even when it dries you can apply more and build up on it you know some of them flake off this is really really a great mascara i highly recommend trying out these two if you are even a part of the itty bitty lash committee dose of colors stone is so good let me just talk about this for a second this is my perfect like mauve shade to my lips i really do enjoy it and i forgot how great dose of colors liquid lipstick formulation is I am a classic lipstick girl but when it comes to this I absolutely love this I mean I just love stone and sand I love taking stone and putting it on my lips and actually doing an ombre but you this you can use this by itself now this applicator is the same applicator that is on the wet and wild now I want to say rebel rose might be a dupe to this i want to check it out but i really do enjoy the dose of colors formulation 
I didn't realize how comfortable it is until you try some other liquid lipsticks. Yes, I maybe need to come with a best and worst of liquid lipsticks, but this is so, so comfortable. If you are not into the trend of the liquid lipstick, which I really don't think it's a trend. I think it's here to stay. Try Dose of Colors formulation. I really do like this and this is a great nude shade. I have been loving NYX Butter Glosses. These are two of my favorite. I have been loving Madeline and Meringue and also Eclair. I don't know where Eclair is, but I have been loving these two for sure. This is a beautiful pink and this is a perfect neutral. Meringue, I, no, this is Madeline. I'm sorry. This is Meringue. This is Madeline. Madeline is, to me, a perfect nude for any skin type. The fairest of the fair to the deepest of the chocolate, you could wear this shade. I feel like, I feel like it's one of those shades that's in between. It's a beautiful, like, let me open it and swatch it. Why does it not want to open now? But it is like that beautiful, like it's like, it has a little bit, a tinge of, it's a pinky, no, it's like a corally brown. So that's why I think it, it's great. It's not too much. It's the, like the perfect neutral nude. I absolutely love this. I've talked about this quite a bit, but I fell back in love with it. So I had to tell you that it's a favorite. Meringue, it's like this perfect spring pink, but this is the type of pink that you want to wear on your lips. This is what's going to make your lips, your teeth look actually whiter. I really do love this pink and I feel like any shade could wear this. It could have deep skin and really throw, um, these are to me universal shades, but try out the butter glosses. If you want something that like stays on like a lipstick, but you want a gloss or a sheen, these are great in the spring to wear by themselves. Okay, I have been loving Pacifica lately. This is in the shade Nudist. I think anything nude or nudist, um, I really do enjoy. This is a beautiful shade. This reminds me a lot of Tansy by Colourpop, but this is a beautiful lip gloss. Let me show you this one. I love that applicator. And you know Pacifica is cruelty free and vegan. This the reddish tone, it's like, it's such a beautiful, this is such a beautiful warm tone lip gloss. I'm just, as you can tell, I'm into lip glosses, but I am also into matte. This is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in the shade T Rose. I love this sh shade. It reminds me of Dose of Colors Stone in a matte liquid, lips, uh, in a matte lipstick um, form. I'm going to show you this. But I really do love these types of shades on my lips. I feel like that this tea rose is so beautiful. I've worn it over and over again, but I don't even know if I've talked about it on my channel. But it's like a bluish purple, like a lavender purple, and it looks so beautiful on the lips. So those are some shade ranges for lip shades. Now let's get into this beauty boxes because it is going to be a minute. So this is the Dr. Brandt micro dermabrasion this retails for $79 got a full size in boxycharm that's the reason why I love boxycharm is you get full size I really do enjoy this I had the sample was before but now I got the full size and I absolutely love it I will be taking this with me on my trip but I really do love um, Dr. Brandt and um, that is a great micro dermabrasion and what micro dermabrasion does is it sloughs off all of the the like dead skin cells that's on your face but not only that it actually kind of buffs those fine lines and wrinkles i want to say it's a deeper form of an exfoliant because the granules are more fine and it does circulate the blood as well so it does do some anti-aging for you as well sedona lace actually came with a trio this is one of the brushes this is the eb19 i got the eb38 i believe and and I'm gonna show a picture, but I already had these before. I love Sedona Lace. These retail for uh, $39.95. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is a flop for me, and it's not because of the brand, it's because of the shade. I think that this, I love Doucet. I love Doucet, I love the brand. But 
this red I'm not gonna wear especially not in the spring and summer so I'm actually gonna put this in a giveaway this is in the shade gorgeous red and I'm not really a red lip wearer that's just honestly I'll do a classic lip for holiday and everything here on my channel but just um, every day just even when I go out I do not I love a nude lip I like to smoke out my I do have several palettes by from Z palette but sorry I won't be purchasing any more Z palettes I will get my makeup forever palettes and that's it on that so that's a flop for me but the eyeshadow pans from makeup geek these retail for um, these two retail for $12 because I got two of them and I got the shade creme brulee and beaches and cream I have used this in a tutorial before and I really do love them <clears throat> I love them both and that's beaches and cream and I also got no I got glamorous I love these shades and let me just swatch that's glamorous and this is a beaches and cream so one is a metallic and the other one is a I would say like a satin I don't even know if beaches and cream is a matte it feels like a satin finish not necessarily like a matte matte but I love using beaches and cream to set my eye and glamorous is beautiful on the lid amazing or the inner corner I really do enjoy those so I would say hey so I would say everything except the Z palette was a favorite for me well the Douce lipstick is not really a flop I'm just passing it on and putting it in a giveaway so yeah Sephora Play beautiful satin bag and it has my ginseng refreshing eye cream in it this is amazing so this is a favorite of mine it's already a favorite this is one of my favorite eye creams I'm so glad that they put this in here now I can put it in my travel bag to take with me to my sister's wedding the next thing I got which is another favorite is the cashew well it's in the shade cashew but this is from bite beauty this is a multi stick I have been wanting to try a multi stick this is the reason why I love Sephora is because they give you Sephora deluxe size products this is amazing look how much product I got you can use this on your eyes lips and cheeks and I love that this is a perfect nude shade even for my lips if I wanted to try it for that so I can actually I really do like the shade cashew they're so pigmented but isn't that like I love the fact that they even gave like a universal shade in here so I love that I have been talking about loving this for a while this is the L'Oreal Revitalift moisture blur I love this it's a skin moisturizer but you know this is discontinued you can get it from Amazon but if you don't want to get it from Amazon you can definitely go for this because this is a dupe this is the Clinique pep start hydro blur moisturizer it even sounds like a dupe but it definitely is and I'm so glad I think this retails for $27 but this I have been loving and I was like as soon as I put this on I was like it's a dupe to that so love this so three so far our favorites and like I said like I told you I've been trying these um this is the only thing that I haven't tried so I don't I can't tell you but I will show you this is the Sephora lash craft craft length and volume so I love I don't like to open up tubes I don't know I just have that thing about me that I don't like to open up a tube when I have like so many already open I absolutely want to try this as soon as possible but it retails for $12 and this is Lash Craft by Sephora I will come back and tell you because I am going to do the best and worst of mascaras so I will be able to tell you about that but one. I got the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino I don't like this I don't it it just did not it it was too powdery it was powdery clean which is not it wasn't good like I did not like this but I, there are other Tom Ford's like they have an orchid that I do like and then they have like an orchid rose or something but I did not like this so I would say three I've tried out of the Sephora that are favorites and the lash craft I haven't haven't tried I hopefully I will love this and I didn't like this so only one flop at in this box ipsy so first the bag is a favorite I love denim it's super cute I mean it looks spring why can I open these masks are phenomenal this was my favorite this one it was okay but this is the purifying black charcoal mask 
This is by Sue. I think that's what it's called, Sue. This one, this, this is the Green Tea Collagen Essence Mask. Phenomenal. I'm looking into this company. This is their blush brush. Perfect for blush and I would actually even use this to bronze or even contour a little bit. But it's super soft. I love it. And I think that it's soft because you can get heavy handed with blush but because it's super soft and flimsy. I also use this one for blush and highlight. It's because you can't go heavy handed on brushes like this when they're kind of flimsy like that and long bristle. I say flimsy but really I mean when they have long bristles like this. So I really did enjoy that. This Luna highlighter, amazing. Now I don't have a highlighter like this. The closest thing that I have, I think is something in Anastasia, but to have, this is such a beautiful shade. It is a, like a silvery lavender. Do y'all see that? It is so beautiful. It does not look ashy on me. I, I just, I love it for that glow. I really did enjoy this. I've been using this and this is also a favorite of mine. This Bella P. Air Volume Lash Mascara. I have talked about this a couple of times, but I really do love, number one, that it is already bent. I didn't do it like that. This is amazing for my bottom lashes and it bends like this. It really gave me volume, seriously. Um, I want to check and see how much this is and see if I want to get it. So out of all of my my Etsy. This one was pretty much the only one that was kind of like it was okay. So I would say I wouldn't repurchase it. So I guess I would call it a flop. So those are the boxes. I do have a mystery bag for the winner of a giveaway. You know it's going through Gleam. So all of that information will be down below. Let me know if you want me to do the beauty unboxings in the monthly favorites. I can show you the favorites and the flops and I can do the giveaway all in one video. I just feel like I get more done and I love reviewing and trying these products and letting you guys know yes I would repurchase yes I like this and you can also see if it's worth your time to uh, subscribe to one of these beauty boxes I am going to think about putting sit bird in this one as well um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe and I'll see beautiful you in the next video bye loveys